Muriel, both congressmen have sought to position themselves in the race as the more conservative, more Republican candidate. But it's proven difficult as both congressmen have very similar records, very similar platforms when it comes to the issues. The only major differences have been on national issues when it comes to spending, when it comes to foreign aid to Ukraine, as well as issues with a defense spending bill. And as for Congressman Barry Moore, he is, however, a member of the House Freedom Caucus, unlike Congressman Carl. It is a conservative body, but also has some controversial lawmakers, including Georgia Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene, who campaigned for Barry Moore in this race just a few days ago. Carl has been critical of Moore's membership in that body. And if there's an advantage when it comes to the numbers in this race, it may perhaps be this. Congressman Jerry Carl has retained a larger swath of voters in this new first district than Moore did bringing over from the old second district. I asked Carl about that, and he explained, however, why that will not necessarily be a deciding factor in this race. It's a four-point advantage if you go by just that, but if we can't get our folks out to vote, it's a uh, it's, it's minimum. Uh, so we've really got to turn our voters out. We've worked very hard at that, especially this week. Turnout. Now, a poll conducted last week by Auburn University and Montgomery showed that more than 20 percent of Republican voters in this new district are still undecided. So it is very real a possibility that their turnout could ultimately be the deciding factor in this race between, I should say, two sitting members of Congress. Live in Baldwin County, Stephen Quinn, ABC 3340 News.